35 right now and the 144th running of the Preakness Stakes happens just about 36 hours from right now. There's been a renewed push to move the race out of Baltimore and into Laurel. John Gonzalez live at Pimlico this morning for us to explain what the future holds for the Preakness. And John, can I just say I am digging the lid, man. That hat is <laughs> perfect. You got to dress to impress here at Pimlico. And I got to tell you, pal, there is so much excitement this morning here in Baltimore as we get ready for the Preakness. But what is the future of this great tradition here in Baltimore? The Stronic Group, which owns this track and also the one in Laurel, Maryland, wants to move this big event about 40 miles south. The city of Baltimore betting against that move. The future of this Baltimore tradition steeped in Maryland history seems as foggy as the air above the horses training this week here at Laurel Park. Brian Paws and his father have run the kitchen behind the backstretch for over 20 years. Laurel is going to be spectacular. Uh, it's going to bring up a lot of business around the area. Uh, I think we'll get more uh, fans to, from the D.C. and Virginia area. The Maryland General Assembly has ignored a bill that would have allowed the Stronach Group to spend $120 million in private and state money to renovate Laurel into a new super track. Really becoming uh, a, a, a place where it's immensely competitive from a sports entertainment uh, perspective. The Preakness has been in Baltimore since 1873. Under state law, it can only move if there is a disaster or emergency. An engineer firm just deemed 18% of Pimlico structurally unstable and off limits. There's a lot of work to be done with the key stakeholders in thoroughbred racing uh, to find solutions for that. There's a lot of work to be done with the city of Baltimore. Owners broke ground on this, the Laurel Park Station, a development that will feature condos, retail, nature trails, even a kayak launch just feet from the Mark train and the racetrack's grandstand. We have great hopes for uh, uh, the racetrack here. Most around here say it's clearly a way to sweeten the deal for a move. I think it's not as congested. It, you know, that's the big deal. That's the biggest thing, all that traffic. Now, it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows at Laurel. That racetrack has also been under scrutiny recently from the Maryland Jockey Club and state lawmakers for deplorable living and working conditions for employees. The owners say they can get everything renovated and fixed in time for the Preakness to be held there in Laurel in 2021. Reporting live at Pimlico this morning, John Gonzalez, Good Morning Washington.